Hello everybody and welcome to the Monoskin YouTube channel where in half an hour's time we are going to be getting the premiere for The Loneliest, the brand new single. And the band are with us right now. Please make some noise, guys. Woo! Woo! Let's go. Woo! Nice to see you. God, it's Exciting. been ages, hasn't oh my it, God, since we've seen each other, hasn't it? <laughs> ages. Yeah, no, we were hanging out yesterday. We had a really nice time um, doing an interview for some other bits. But it's nice to be with you on your YouTube channel right now, ahead of the premiere for The Loneliest, which is going to be happening really soon. Half an hour for that one, guys. Spread the word. Tell your mates. Um, first off, I guess, is this the first time for a video, Damiano, that you guys have been really, truly involved in it like acting wise yeah i think it's it's the first video where we actually a bit with mamma mia but yeah, mamma mia. yeah but it was more, it's more fun. it was more on a funny side so we it was kind of easier like yeah it's the first time we would <laughs> nah, yeah, it's, it's more right, images. Exactly. Yeah, it's this is more action. real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's. Okay, so who, Ethan, you, uh, you, do you like acting? Is it, is it come quite naturally to you? Like, from my perspective, <laughs> from my. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What, <laughs> what happens? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, sure, don't worry. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's cool. No, it's... Um, well, like, um, for, for, from my inner perspective, mm. I, I would say that I. I, li I liked it a lot to, to make like all the videos and all the scenes and I also liked a lot to to then see myself through the scenes and through the, the shows that we made yeah. because um, I don't know I just had fun a lot of fun with it and yeah I just I just tried to feel natural. Thomas when you wrote the song was there some visuals in mind when you were writing the song? Did you guys have an idea of what you wanted the video to be as you were writing? Uh, I would say that it depends, because sometimes, yes, uh, it's happened, but sometimes uh, we talk about uh, the video, so we make like basically a brainstorming all together, and we, I don't know, like, we, every one of us, uh, we talk about different ideas, and we try to match the whole ideas to write up a story, so it depends, I would say, yeah. So what, Vic, what were the first images that came to mind when you guys were maybe writing the song? How did it feel? How did it see as you were writing it? Uh, I remember the first idea was actually the nanos. That we got this whole funeral idea because yeah. it's like a very sad song, but we didn't want to make it in a cheesy, romantic way. So we wanted a way to like give the same sad vibe of the song, but in a more original way. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And did you get a chance to like pull from maybe other films or visuals take references from other places for, for this one Damiano like usually we we work in this way like we share ideas and then we start watching other videos to take inspiration but this time it was a bit different because like I had this this image of my funeral uh, since since the very first uh, moments I was writing the, the, the song so when I shared with them we all liked the idea and we shared it with the with the director and this time the director did all the job of yeah. searching for references and uh, because like every time we always do a lot and think a lot about the video clips this this time we wanted to like let the director have more freedom because we trust a lot in him we think he's very very talented so we we thought that his ideas could actually give something more to the video. And you've got to concentrate on the acting as well. Yeah, you sure. know what I mean? If you want that big Hollywood break... <laughs> you know, exactly. You you got to can be all on me. Yeah. <laughs> the song, the idea, <laughs> everything. <laughs> um, guys who are watching right now, don't forget, you guys can send your questions in as well. Get into the chat on the right-hand side on the YouTube channel. Fire in some questions for the band. I'm getting them through on the iPad right here, so I'll be able to ask them out to the band in just a second. Um, I want to know, though, because I saw some stills of the video, right? There's, yeah. there's some bits where, like, you're underwater. Yeah. There's bits where, like, some of you look like almost like the Grim Reaper in a way. Like, it's really dark and kind of evil, almost like Halloweenish in a way, <laughs> right? Now we're sort of getting to that time of year. Were there, no, were there some fun moments on set, like, that come to mind at all? Not fun. No, not at all. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I mean, it was tough, yeah. but, but then we had a legend on set. Like, there was this old yeah. woman, she was 82. 83. She is. Eighty-three. No, still, she, no she wants to be known as eighty-two. Okay. Yeah, but she's younger. Yeah, but she's she's <laughs> eighty something, and mm. uh, we were like very worried for her because it was very demanding. To, to the we were in the rain. It was in the rain with like huge fans, a lot of wind. So we thought like, like she's gonna die for sure. 
And then we, so we, we talked to her and we said, are, are you okay with doing it? Are you, do you want to go away? Like, do you want to? And she was like, oh no, oh my God, I, I, I want to do it. I'm going to stay here till I die. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. We don't really want that, but no, but she was a legend. Yeah. Great. I, she's still alive. Legend. Okay, that's she's good. Yeah. No, she's, she's good. She's good. So she, what, what role good. does she play in the video? Is she, is she an actor? Was she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, you're not giving it away just yet. Um, hey, I'll tell you what, we should probably dive into some fan questions, to be fair. We've got loads of these coming through right now. Um, this is from Stephanie, who says, what is, the fa or what is your favourite part in the song? Thomas, maybe you can give us your idea Ooh. on that one. <laughs> it's the same of course. Part. I would say, of, of course, course. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. So you're biased, so the solo. What about you, Ethan? My, my favourite part mm. in the song? I don't know. Well, there, there's... Well, actually, the chorus is like a huge one, you know what I mean? So I think, yeah, this is also where the song started when we started rolling yeah. it. So, yeah, I'm really attached to it, so I liked it. Great for you. I'll say the solo as well. Yeah? No, when you're doing... My bass line is sick, but I'll do it. Yes, the, ba the bass line is sick. He has the big moment. Sounds like an entire orchestra. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, written for real. as for real. You know, as usual, when you Not play joking. a sick bass line, no one hears it. And then there's the guitar <laughs> solo, two bendings, and everyone's like, wow! <laughs> <laughs> it's the glory. You take all the glory, but really, you're the machine no, no, behind no. the whole absolutely, thing. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Yeah. That's right. Damiano, I can right. probably guess for you, probably the whole song, right? The way you get to belt this thing out. Yes, but the intro and the final part, um, I sing with very, very, very few voice, and it's the first time I do it in our songs. Mm -hmm. I always use very like cool. a lot of voice sure. and a lot of omission, and this time, like especially in the intro, it's very, very whispered, and uh, I never had the chance to do it a lot, uh, so I'm, I'm happy. It's quite... like my voice now. Yeah. <laughs> I can do it. Oh, yeah. So actually, actually, yeah. No, your voice Literally. now, it's my voice in Elvis. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I was going to say, actually, did you kind of feel like you wanted to push yourself with this one, too? Yeah. Yeah, mm, yeah for sure. Yeah. That was okay. totally. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's by far, no, not by far. It's like, I would say, together with Coraline, it's uh, the most personal song I've ever written. But it's, um, I, like, when we started writing the album, I decided to, to make it very, very personal and open because I feel now I'm 23, I grow up, and I'm not insecure about myself anymore. So I'm kind of ready to open up with, with, with people who are watching this. Can I ask you what it's about, what it's tapping into? In the song specifically? Mm -hmm. or, uh, song, in, yeah. in this song... Um, we, we had this very long writing session in, in LA and we've been there for like three and a half months and uh, this is like one of the very last song that, that, that I worked on. Um, so we were there since like three months and uh, my girlfriend was sick so she couldn't come visit and they were having like their friends and family come to visit so I was kind <laughs> <Sorry>. of... <laughs> no, it's not their fault of course, I was happy for them but I was feeling very very homesick and uh, I was missing the most important things for me so um, I started thinking what if this never changes like what if I actually lose something forever what what would I think and then I kind of turn it over and what would I say to the people that I love if one day I would go away and disappear. So you thought about like the worst <laughs> Yeah, the case worst scenario, scenario possible. The, the scenario that no one ever wants to think about you yeah, thought about. Yeah, you have to sometimes. Yeah, it's true. Um, Teresa, thank you for your question. I think this is quite a good question actually. Whose funeral is it? <laughs> we said that. <laughs> <laughs> we said that. Though. This man, <laughs> every October he yeah. has to die in some way. Also last year. Every October? Yeah, because yeah. last yeah. year we released the music video mm. to Mamma Mia. Day. In October, yeah. where we killed him as well. Oh, God, of course. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That was that was very gory. So now it's yeah. funeral. <laughs> funeral yeah. time. Yeah. So it's one your funeral later. every October from yeah. now on. I said, We're going to do it. Show. Which well, one have you seen, Thomas? Go on. Uh, you have played the guitar solo of Delonius that Chico Masti when we didn't know it. Because <laughs> um, in our song that is called Le Parole Lontane, I make like a s s live solo okay, uh -huh. for that song that is not into the records. <gasps> 
and but I take inspiration from a part of that solo for this solo, and so it's very funny because lots of people are that so, part so, so yeah. someone, during someone the live catch, show. Catches the moment. <laughs> That was an interesting question because it was about your guitar solo again, wasn't exactly. it? Exactly. <laughs> that was an interesting question. Okay, stop um, it, stop it. This one. Lo I mean, solo. loads and loads of questions asking about an album. Okay. I'm sure there's probably only so much you can say, but we are on the Monoskin YouTube channel. There are thousands of people watching right now. There must be some kind of no. something. It's I, coming. It's, I, it's fin coming. I, I just finished the vocals. So. Okay. <laughs> so the vocals are done, they're so, laid down. And is there the so, oh, yeah. another, so another six year. <laughs> so in joking. five years, more or less, it will be out. Yeah, yeah. 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 And and a bit less. Bit and Iris would quite like to know about a tour. Mm -hmm. There's like a... Because you guys a got lot. a lot of shows, right? Tour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, yeah. Does, how does that feel touring all the time? We, I mean, just, I mean, we don't think about it. We should call it like that, the end just tour. I like that. You just have not to think about it. Because uh -huh. if you think, oh, like, I have idiot. 70 gigs to do, you will die. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it will be, you feel. Yeah, like, it, it will be... Yeah. It's like, but <laughs> I love the tour, yeah. like, personally, like, it's the best moment for me. And even if it's stressful, it's still... It's <laughs> 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 even if it's stressful, but it's still the thing where you get the most fun. And even if you're, like, exhausted or anything, then you get on stage and get all the energy from the fans mm. and the people. I was yeah. going to say, it's just like, you know, we were talking about yesterday, weren't we, how you went all the way to Japan for the first time, you went to South America for the first time. And I mean, like, these aren't just fans, these are, I mean, these are like, your army, in a way, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, there are <laughs> legions of fans that are almost obsessive, which is a great thing, by the way. I'm not dissing you guys at all. I think it's an amazing thing how committed you are to this band. And, like, we were talking to a fan yesterday, or well, you guys heard from yeah. a fan yesterday. She spent, like, £700 to come yeah, and see yeah, you yeah. guys. And, and like, 24 the, hours. In, yeah, and wait 24 <laughs> yeah. hours, exactly. You know, the commitment is amazing. And so for all of you guys watching right now, I think we said this in the studio, and obviously you wouldn't have got to hear this, but these guys are so, so yeah. honoured to have you as their fans. Yeah, yeah. we are. Like, massively, yes, massively so. So yes, keep up the energy, for sure. Um, Thank you. So let's get back focusing on the video, because how long have we got? How long have we got? We've got about 15 minutes until the video is premiering on the YouTube channel. <clears throat> um, I guess we've had a few stills. We talked about you being underwater, Damiano, at some point. Obviously, you don't want to give too much away, but how was that experience for you? started very bad and then uh, like slowly got better because I had weights like at my uh, ankles, ankles and in my pockets oh, well, because so I, had really to, just trying to I had to drown like I shouldn't float I had to drown but the first two or three takes we put too much weight actually so it was very hard to get off the water I thought I was gonna die. Really? Wow. <laughs> yeah, because normally, you normally do. you swim yeah. and then like sure. you know uh, the the physics brings yeah. you up. You feel like a butterfly. Yeah, <laughs> but then like you you, 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 feel like a you swim and and once the the, the like the, the 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 push you gave it's over you, you go down Ooh. again but like very fast Scary. so you gotta swim Scary. very fast but you have no breath so you kind of see the light oh my God, and try to reach it. But it's too far. So it must have been the closest you got to dying then? <laughs> Not the closest, the, the closest <laughs> in a video clip. When was the closest? Uh, many times. Uh, what the fuck? Many times. <laughs> many times close to dying? Many times, man. I was like, I had many, man. many. Like, okay. my, my dad saved me at least two times. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. At, at least sure. two yeah, times. Oh, getting yourself into trouble as a kid? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I got you. Sure, I was yeah, pretty active. <laughs> wow. um, what's the favorite moment on stage for you guys? at the moment. That one's coming from Sarah, by the way. Thank you, Sarah, for your question. Ethan, what, what, what about for you? What's, what's your favourite moment on stage? Mm. On stage? Yeah, when you're yeah, up, uh, like performing on stage. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, uh, I'm, I'm going to say something a bit like, actually, when, I, when I'm on stage, nothing happens like, really. I mean, he doesn't see things, anything. The interesting things happen to them. Because I'm always behind, yeah. so yeah. I can I can, no, I, can no, I can I can see you, interesting sure. things happening, mm. but I, I'm not involved in them. No, we need no, to no, change that. We need to get Ethan you. front and center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we yeah. Got on stage. yeah, but also that moment is pretty funny actually because <laughs> like all the crowd just just go like they, they you see what we see all the time. Yeah, actually, yeah. That, that, that's where I answer. 
But like when I when I play and all the people we we, we, we like in a certain in a certain point of the gig we let the people get on stage and then of course get closer to, to my to my platform and to my drums. So every time they do it, they send it like, please give me a drumstick. Please, can I take this? Please, can I touch you? Always. And they destroy and I, and your I, jokes. I focus on, on Ben because he's made, like the hardest song of the whole set. Yeah, you go so, out for them and so everyone else so, goes out for them. Yeah, so every time I try to speak with them and try to communicate, but it's very hard, actually. Yeah. It's like, can I have a drumstick? Like yeah, impossible. later, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I can do this. I can, I can now. Later, later, okay. I mean, like, we play, only you are hand. like an octopus when you play, do you know what I mean? Like your arms are everywhere, but there is only so much that you can do. Yeah, when you're up there, mm. are there other things? Are there are there actually things that you can do whilst you're drumming? Have you have you tried that? Like, can you drum and do something else at the same time? You know, like sometimes I try to to talk while drumming. <laughs> right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And How does that go? It's, it's impossible. With yeah, I, I, I can't. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm not able to do it. Okay, nice. Yeah. And how about the rest of you? Like your best moments on stage? I will say when we have some technical problem. What? Have, yeah, no, no, no. I mean that we have to improvise something to solo. To... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, solo. No, 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 yeah. He's not a solo. He's not a solo. Of course. <laughs> when there is no. a technical problem, how does it? You were about to say. Oh, oh I have to do one again. It's, no, it's oh, not no. a solo. It's a riff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Yeah, no, no I'm, but I'm joking, frankly. <laughs> no, I, I, I love when we have to improvise something because it, it's like a challenge for me. I don't know how to explain stuff like mm. that. And also, um, yeah, maybe when we improvise in something during the, the, the gigs in general, that it's not, it's not routine, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Something special, I love yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever done that on stage and then you've been like, oh my god, that sounds good? Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Like become a song yeah, yeah, that yeah, has yeah. happened. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What song? What song have you have you released? It's, it's new. Ah. Uh, mm, okay. New. On that new album yes. that's meant to be coming. Mm -hmm. Wait, can you remember when you did that, Thomas? Um, during the show in general. But also okay? like the solo in the uh, in the live mm -hmm. version, we were talking about that, and we used some parts in the longest. It's happened not for like the main part, but many. Ah, uh, yeah, many parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Yeah. Do you, do you ever remember it afterwards? Because those things are they're so in the moment, aren't they? It's really yeah, not unfortunately. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, technology. Exactly. Yeah, no, but safe. I don't know because during the solo, <laughs> I love to uh, improvising uh, a lot. Uh, mm. I, I hate when it's a you know a, like a schematic part that you have to um, remember, remember exactly. So yeah, we'll say that. Vic, lots of people are asking about your voice. Have you been doing too much karaoke again? <laughs> yeah, too much partying. Is that really it? Have you been going out and yeah. partying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing? Um, clubs. Yeah. <laughs> Another club. Another have you been go Have you been going? To oh, wait, I saw you in a to like a techno club or something the other day. No, yeah. is that right? Could be. <laughs> cool, but Vic, could be not. Ah. Do you like Do you like going to places that aren't the music you play? No, I love techno, so yes, yes. Oh, okay, so you Absolutely. do love going to So when you go and play in Berlin, I mean, that must be just like the best the for best. you, right? The best and the worst, because then you really don't have the energy the next day. I feel like if there's anyone who's not going to make it for a show, it's going to be you. Don't say that, please. Has that ever happened? Has that <laughs> ever got no, no, no. But every what? time... No. Oh. Come on, tell us, Damiano. I was sick. <laughs> liar! One time. One time liar! Ago, one time ages Bujarda. ago. One time ages ago when I was sick. Not because of party. Bitch. Okay, <laughs> but it happened. But, okay, because every time I like go out and then we have like a shooting or something and I might fall asleep or my voice is sure. gone or all these kind yeah, of things. Then Damiano really... Only when you fall asleep. Okay, only no. when I fall asleep. But then he he's like, bam! He's like, no, this is not professional. You can't sleep and set, blah blah blah. So now you're putting me in a hard position, so Vic, Jack. Your, so Vic, your version is that you fell asleep. What's your version? No, no, no. That time that it happened, she was actually sick, so it was not her fault. Think we were supposed to but no, like we well, sometimes, but we don't argue, like actually. But sometimes we talk about this. <laughs> and I talking. say, like, if we have to wake up at six. Maybe it's not the best idea to go out. You're right, though. I think, like, most sensible front man in rock and roll, by the way. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. The biggest grandpa in rock and roll. Yeah, the biggest grandpa. Yeah, but when you've been there and done it, you can only do it so many times, right? Yeah.
Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Naturally. Um, uh, to be fair, though, like when you go to new places, do you like to go and see the, si the cities and stuff yeah. like that? Well, well, we have no chance. Yeah. 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 yeah, we have yeah. free time. Do you get, do you get much time to do no. that? No. Not really. No. Not that's, that, there's an issue. Only at <laughs> night, that's why I go out. Oh, okay, yeah. fine, yeah. It's not my fault. And the clubs are the only thing that are open. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So when we went in Japan, we, we had time to yeah, visit this mm -hmm. thing. It was yeah. super cool. Yeah, yeah Japan oh. looked incredible yeah. What, yeah. A place. Yeah, yeah. what a place yeah. um how about more new songs after the loneliest like how how soon before people can can get more new music you're smirking Vic. It's that yeah that feels like soon to you're me being nosy. that's my soon. job that's my job that's like my and literally job employed to be mysterious yeah <laughs> true, true 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 so is the loneliest do you think a good representation of the album uh, not the, the whole thing no. like i i think it's a good representation of the idea between behind the album like doing something different and doing something that we've never done before mm -hmm. but of course not the whole album is going to sound like this because otherwise we're going to make you depressed <laughs> <laughs> was everything done in la was the whole album done in la uh the majority of okay. the not yeah. not they every, every, every everything, everything. Like yeah. yeah no i did things in japan sure. and you redo Italy. things and yeah that kind yeah. of thing was that that la trip after the brit awards yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So you went there and you spent quite a long time there. And did it take a while? Did it take a moment for the ideas to really start flowing and mm. for you guys to get an idea of what you wanted to do with the album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, the, the first two weeks were just, like, throwing out music and see, like, uh, what level of inspiration we are and, like, what mindset we are in. And then we, we uh, shared all the ideas and we kind of found the direction and mm. then everything was, was smoother. And other points where there's maybe tension between you guys with ideas and things like that. Do you know what I mean? Because you're four people in this band. You're mm -hmm. all going to have four. your ideas of how sure. things yeah. should come together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, how do you go about sorting that, that out? And That's the hardest part. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say but that must be one of the hardest parts, yeah. right? Yeah. But it's, it's yeah. like, I think it's also what makes it interesting in being in a band that there's some good conflict in a way because it makes you like share opinions and then the thing that comes out, it's not one individual's only idea but it's a mix of the four of us so that mm. makes it more original i think where where does the tension usually happen who is it between like with ideas in the studio and things like that all of us. it's all of you is it yeah. really yeah, yeah, different combinations yeah. yeah i think what we found out so far is that and i think actually the loneliest is probably a good example of this you all like to have your moments within this band yeah. Yeah. you know sure you're all brilliant musicians in your own right with, with your own specific parts. And yes. so bringing that all out together, mm -hmm. like we were just saying, is probably the most difficult thing for this band. Yeah. But arguably, when you get it right and it happens, you do banger after banger after banger mm -hmm. after banger because <laughs> you are all so talented, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And is Thank that you. how this album's turned out? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I hope so, yeah. we hope so. We try it. So modest. <laughs> so modest. No, it's the best. There, that's what we want. We want to know it's the yeah. best. Come With on. With the best music. All right, we've got five minutes until the loneliest video, the debut of it. We can't wait. Um, I'm going to read out a few more questions from people, and then I reckon how we go just before we go into it is maybe you guys tell the people at home how you feel about it. Yeah? Cool. Okay. Yeah. Tia, I like this question. Favorite stage outfit? Thomas? Stage outfit. You start. Okay, oh now God. I used to um, uh, wear a lot the skirt. The skirt. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, nice. Beautiful. But it's very cool. Because it gets hot and it's breezy, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's the point. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Three balls. <laughs> exactly. How about you, Ethan? What about me? Yeah, your favourite stage outfit. Well, I actually uh, don't have a stage outfit. I was going to say, you don't I... wear much on stage, do you? Yeah, correct. <laughs> I'm always shirtless. Yeah. Showing his big boobies. <laughs> yeah, because he, because it's your a muscle. It's a way easier. Like yeah. For me as a drummer to play without nothing that stopped me to my movements. So be yeah. fair, you're not the only shirtless one in the band. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. I also need movement. Yeah, exactly. Freedom, Everyone you know? needs freedom. And to be fair, you don't like to wear much either, Damiano. I always end up naked. To be, that, well, I mean, that question, it felt like a really good question. Then just <laughs> no then one really wears we any clothes on stage it. anyway. Only Thomas. Yeah, exactly. Thomas is the one keeping the outfits. I don't know how yeah, he does. Yeah, it's like, a mission. Every time we have a jacket, <laughs> yeah. I like try to keep it for like three songs and like, 
or his car, this is under the stage, and she's like looking like, Impossible. keep it. Keep it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what a ticket office. Was it Thomas that secured keep. the Gucci collaboration? Yeah, yeah, yeah probably, yeah. yeah. yeah he sure. keeps it until the last minute. He's our, yeah. he's our brand yeah. branding manager. Yeah. Um, yeah. Monoskin with four for an A, three for an E, and a one for an I. Hi. Um, they, oh, yeah. they would like to know how many songs will be on the brand new album. Many. <laughs> many, many. Many, 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 many. You'll be very okay. happy. So, yeah, okay, yeah, what yeah. about like between 10 and 12? Okay. More, yeah. more. More? Between. More. Really? What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. More so, than 12? More. 15? More. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> many, many. 47. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Forty-seven How did you songs. Yeah, exactly forty-seven. So you no, got like a tri you got like a triple-sided album. Forty-seven that was what we got like after the writing session. Yeah. We had like yeah. fifty songs oh to, to God, build the album was a nightmare. Um, okay, we're about to get into the music video. We've got two minutes to go. Quickly from Hannah. How long did it take to do the music video in total? Did you shoot three it? days? Three days, yeah. yeah. Just like intense. Okay, sure. You two days, me three days. Because <laughs> you were underwater for yeah. a while. Yeah. Yeah. The pool two. day. The so then you guys go partying and yeah, you exactly. do the work. Okay, lovely. All right, we have got not very long at all. I'm talking like a minute and a half. So before we throw to the video and people see it for the first ever time, is there anything that you'd like to tell the fans at home before they see the video? Enjoy it. <laughs> well, Damiano, oh. we've, got, we, no, Damiano, we've got a Such minute a and a half to fill here. I need a bit more than enjoy it. Don't talk shit about it, please. <laughs> Love it, enjoy it. Share it with your friends and moms. Actually, we, actually, we, we can say like, something like Go, go, oh, yeah, go, 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 go. You only have one minute. It's the more okay, cinematic okay. video clip we had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, enjoy for real. But it's, it's like yeah, cinema. I make popcorn. It's like pure yeah. cinema. Is this going to be an, is this going to be like reviewed in Empire magazine? Like, do you know what I mean? Is this going to be a, <laughs> sure. a cultural, sure. cultural moment where the seismic waves are felt worldwide for the brand new Monoskin video? Okay. Vic, do you want to add anything? So. Thomas, do you want to add anything? We, we suffered to film it in the rain, so we hope you like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. Okay, it's time to get wet then, is what we're saying. It's time to get wet. It's time, it's time like to that. get wet, like everybody, that. for the brand new Minor Skin video. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Congratulations on anything. We can't wait to hear the record. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Minor Skin in the studio right now. Let's go! <laughs> Love it. Everyone at home, thank you so much for hanging out and listening to the interview. Uh, it is right about time to throw to the brand new single, the video of the brand new single from Mona Skin, The Loneliest. The song is out now and you're about to see the video for the very first time. Here it is. Thank you so much for watching.